What is the average of J and K? Now keep in mind, the average, the way we figure out the average would be J plus K over 2 equals the average. Well, if I know the sum of J and K, that would allow me to figure out the average. So really, any information that tells me either about the sum or the average, that would allow me to figure out the average of J and K. So statement wonder number one tells me that the average of J plus 2 and K plus 4 is 10. So the average of J plus 2 plus K plus 4, take those two divided by 2, equals 10. Well then clearly J plus 2 plus K plus 4 equals 20. Well this would allow me to solve for the sum of J and K, which would allow me to find the average. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Statement number two. Forget about statement number one. We'll focus exclusively on statement number two now. The average of J and K and 14 is 10. So J plus K plus 14 over 3 equals 10. Well, this means that J plus K plus 14 equals 30. And again, I could solve this for the sum of J and K. Once I have the sum, I could find the average. So this statement by itself is also sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. Answer choice D.